Ever wondered what life is really like inside the belly of one of the most powerful warships on the planet? U.S. aircraft carriers are more than just flight decks and jets. They are complex floating cities that hold thousands of people, cutting-edge technology and a network of passageways and compartments that you wouldn't believe exist. Number 1. The Design of the Hull the design of the hull of a U.S. aircraft carrier is a marvel of both form and function, engineered to meet the extreme demands of naval warfare and maritime travel. The hull is not only a structural frame, but a fully integrated system designed to balance protection, stability, and operational efficiency. Built to stretch over 1,000 feet, the hull acts as the spine of the carrier giving it the ability to safely carry thousands of personnel, dozens of aircraft, and critical weaponry. The whole structure is composed of multiple layers of high-strength steel, carefully selected and manufactured for both durability and flexibility. These plates are meticulously welded to form a watertight shell, ensuring that the vessel remains impermeable to the sea. The strength of the steel and the design allow the hull to absorb and redistribute enormous forces, whether from rough seas, missile impacts, or the ship's own operational stresses. The steel's thickness varies in critical areas to provide extra armor where needed, such as around reactor compartments, weapons magazines, and machinery spaces. In these zones, reinforced plating offers enhanced protection against torpedoes, shells, or collisions. Inside, the hull features an extensive network of frames and bulkheads running both longitudinally and transversely. These support structures distribute the massive weight and stress throughout the hull, maintaining balance and preventing warping under pressure. Additionally, the design of the hull's interior features watertight bulkheads that form multiple sealed compartments. This compartmentalization is crucial for damage control as it isolates areas affected by flooding or fire, allowing the ship to maintain operational capacity even when parts are compromised. The hull's shape is also highly specialized. It is designed with a flared bow to cut through rough seas efficiently and reduce the slamming effect of waves, improving the carrier's ability to maintain speed and maneuverability. The submerged sections have a relatively flat bottom with a sharp angled V shape towards the bow, which not only aids in stability but also maximizes the ship's hydrodynamic efficiency. The flat bottom design allows the carrier to carry more weight without compromising stability, a crucial factor given the ship's cargo of aircraft, fuel, and munitions. The hull's resilience is further enhanced by its damage resistance design. It includes torpedo defense systems along the sides and bottom of the hull, with specific sections designed to crumple upon impact and absorb the force of an explosion. This feature significantly reduces the potential damage from underwater attacks. Every inch of the hull's surface is meticulously coated to resist corrosion from salt water and minimize biofouling, the buildup of marine organisms, which could impair the vessel's performance over time. This protective coating reduces maintenance requirements and ensures that the ship can remain at sea for extended periods without significant degradation in speed or maneuverability. Number two, the nuclear heart of the ship. The nuclear heart of a U.S. aircraft carrier is the most critical component of its propulsion system, hidden deep within the hull to ensure maximum security and protection. At the core of this system are two nuclear reactors, typically located in separate, reinforced compartments. Each reactor uses enriched uranium fuel to produce immense energy through the process of nuclear fission, where atoms are split to release heat. This heat is then used to produce high-pressure steam, which drives steam turbines connected to both the ship's propulsion and electrical systems. The nuclear reactors are highly efficient, providing a nearly unlimited energy supply and allowing the carrier to remain at sea for up to 20 years without refueling. This self-sufficiency gives the carrier unparalleled range and endurance, enabling it to operate almost anywhere in the world without the logistical limitations faced by conventionally fueled ships. Each reactor can generate around 100 megawatts of electricity, enough to power all of the carrier's systems, radar, navigation, combat, life support, and the vast array of electronics on board. These reactors are encased in multiple layers of steel and concrete to safeguard against any potential radiation leaks or attacks. 
Additionally, they are equipped with extensive safety and monitoring systems operated by highly trained nuclear technicians who ensure the reactor's safe operation, efficiency, and readiness at all times. Number three, the hangar deck, the aircraft's home. The hangar deck is the beating heart of aircraft operations aboard a U.S. aircraft carrier, essentially functioning as a multi-purpose garage and maintenance facility for the carrier's fleet of aircraft. Stretching almost the entire length of the ship, the hangar deck is a vast open space designed to store, maintain, and prepare a variety of aircraft, including fighter jets, helicopters, and support planes. It's typically about 700 feet long and 110 feet wide, providing ample room to house dozens of aircraft at any given time. The space is carefully organized into sections where mechanics, engineers, and technicians work around the clock to repair, refuel, arm, and service aircraft before their next missions. Specialized workstations are scattered throughout, allowing for everything from quick inspections to major overhauls. The deck is equipped with overhead cranes to lift heavy aircraft parts, refueling stations, and even ordnance loading areas for arming the planes with weapons and munitions. The hangar is connected to the flight deck by massive aircraft elevators, which can carry aircraft weighing up to 150,000 pounds. These elevators move planes quickly from storage to launch positions, and their rapid speed is critical to maintaining the carrier's operational tempo. The hangar deck is constantly active, with aircraft being moved, maintained, and prepared for their next sorties in a carefully coordinated dance, ensuring that the air wing is always ready for rapid deployment. Number 4. Life on Board, Living Quarters and Crew Life Life on board an aircraft carrier is a unique experience, with living quarters carefully designed to balance efficiency, comfort, and functionality for the thousands of crew members on board. The ship's berthing areas are typically organized based on rank, with junior enlisted personnel living in large communal spaces, each room filled with rows of three-tier bunk beds known as racks. These racks are stacked closely together to maximize space, and each sailor is allotted a small locker for personal belongings. Privacy is limited, but sailors have small curtains on their racks and individual reading lights, allowing for some solitude in these shared quarters. Officers and senior enlisted personnel enjoy a bit more privacy, sharing smaller rooms with just a few others, and often have more personal space, including small desks and seating areas. The heads, bathrooms are located nearby with shared shower stalls, sinks, and toilets to accommodate the needs of the crew. Beyond the berthing areas, the ship is equipped with facilities to maintain morale and well-being during extended deployments. Gyms with treadmills, weights, and other fitness equipment are spread throughout the carrier, offering crew members the opportunity to stay fit. Lounges provide spaces to relax, watch TV, or play games, while spiritual needs are met with chapels for reflection and services. Some carriers even have small food service areas like ice cream parlors or coffee bars, offering small comforts that make life at sea a bit easier. Social interaction in these communal spaces helps strengthen bonds and maintain a sense of community during long stints away from shore. Number 5. Feeding the Fleet – Massive Galleys and Dining Areas Feeding the crew of a U.S. aircraft carrier is a massive logistical operation, requiring precision and efficiency to ensure that thousands of sailors have access to nutritious meals every day. Within the hull of the carrier are several large galleys, essentially industrial-scale kitchens designed to prepare and serve around 18,000 meals daily. The galleys are equipped with oversized versions of kitchen equipment like giant ovens, grills, fryers, steam kettles, and mixers, allowing culinary specialists to cook in bulk. Culinary teams work in shifts around the clock to accommodate the carrier's 24-7 operations with breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even midnight meals, known as mid-rats, midnight rations, to cater to sailors working late hours. The storage for provisions is just as impressive. Large refrigerated storage rooms and dry storage areas are stocked with fresh produce, meats, dry goods, and other essentials. These spaces are carefully organized to ensure efficient inventory management, and they are designed to hold enough supplies to keep the crew fed for months without a resupply, considering the carrier may be at sea for extended periods. Meals are served on mess decks, which are essentially dining halls, doubling as social spaces where sailors gather to eat, relax, and socialize. 
These areas feature cafeteria-style serving lines where sailors can choose from various dishes, providing a variety of meal options to keep morale high. The mess decks play a crucial role not just in feeding the fleet, but also in building camaraderie and offering a break from the demanding daily routine. Number six, the Combat Information Center, the nerve center of operations. The Combat Information Center, CIC, is the strategic nerve center of a U.S. aircraft carrier, where the flow of critical information is continuously monitored, analyzed, and acted upon. Located deep within the hull for maximum protection, the CIC is a secure, heavily shielded space filled with advanced technology and staffed by highly trained personnel. This room plays a vital role in situational awareness as it collects data from a wide range of sources including radar systems, sonar, satellite feeds, and communication with other naval assets, aircraft, and even ground forces. The CIC is packed with screens, plotting tables, and workstations equipped with computer terminals that display real-time data on air, surface, and subsurface activities. Officers and enlisted specialists work side by side to process this information, tracking potential threats, navigating the ship's course, and coordinating military operations. The seamless collaboration between personnel allows for swift and accurate decision making. Essential during high stakes situations like combat operations or emergency maneuvers. Communication is a core function of the CIC. It serves as the central hub for coordinating the ship's actions with aircraft, fleet command, and allied forces. The CIC uses encrypted communication systems to maintain secure contact and ensure information remains confidential. Beyond tactical operations, the CIC manages the movement of aircraft on the carrier, monitors weather conditions, and handles intelligence gathering, making it an indispensable center for every aspect of the carrier's operations and defense. Number 7. Weapons and Ordnance Storage Weapons and ordnance storage aboard a U.S. aircraft carrier is a highly organized and secure operation designed to ensure that every piece of ammunition is properly handled and ready for deployment. Deep within the hull lie magazine spaces, climate-controlled rooms where missiles, bombs, and ammunition are stored. These areas are built with reinforced walls and blast doors to protect both the ordnance and the ship itself in case of accidents. The magazine spaces are equipped with advanced fire suppression systems, often using gas or foam to rapidly extinguish any fire without damaging the ammunition or creating further hazards. The handling of ordnance requires strict protocols. Highly trained ordnance personnel are responsible for safely managing, transporting, and maintaining the weapons. Specialized equipment like lifts and cranes helps to move heavy and sensitive items from storage to preparation areas. When it's time to arm aircraft, the weapons are transported using secure conveyor systems and elevators, specially designed to handle the weight and size of various munitions. These systems move the ordnance efficiently from the hull to the flight deck without compromising safety. In addition to storage, there are spaces dedicated to assembling and maintaining weapons. Here, bombs are fitted with guidance systems and missiles are prepped for deployment. Safety is a top priority, with strict adherence to procedures ensuring that weapons are ready for use quickly while minimizing the risk of accidents. The entire process is a finely tuned operation that keeps the carrier's air wing and defensive systems fully armed and combat ready. Number 8. The Hull's Defense Systems and Damage Control the hull's defense systems and damage control capabilities are critical to the survival and operational continuity of a U.S. aircraft carrier. The ship's design incorporates a network of watertight compartments and bulkheads, creating a compartmentalization system. This means that in the event of a breach, fire, or flooding, sections of the ship can be quickly isolated by sealing off these compartments. This containment strategy prevents damage from spreading, allowing the ship to maintain its stability and remain operational even under duress. Damage control stations are strategically placed throughout the hull, fully equipped with firefighting gear, dewatering pumps, and emergency repair materials. The personnel manning these stations form dedicated damage control teams trained in a wide array of emergency responses, from sealing hull breaches and extinguishing fires to controlling flooding. Their training is rigorous, involving frequent drills and simulations to ensure that all crew members are prepared to react swiftly and effectively in crisis situations. 
The hull is fitted with advanced fire suppression systems, including high expansion foam generators that can quickly fill large spaces and water mist sprays designed to combat fires with minimal damage to sensitive equipment. These systems can be activated manually or automatically to provide rapid responses. The ship also includes dewatering systems to pump out water in case of flooding and reinforced barriers to protect critical systems. Overall, the carrier's damage control measures ensure that the ship can survive severe damage, protect its crew, and maintain its combat capabilities in even the most extreme conditions.